everybody. Thank you for joining me today on Glenn's Retro Show. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me today on Glenn's Oh <laughs> Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me today on Glenn's <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough. All right. Everyone, thank you for joining me today on Glenn's Retro Show. Um, had a little incident recently with YouTube and the video I had done on how to put the flash floppy on these GoTech drives. For some reason, they flagged my video and pulled it down. No idea why. Uh, they even gave me a copyright strike. Bring in the logic probe. There's a 68.71% chance you're right. Again, no idea why. The firmware itself is free on here. I'm permission from the author to uh, to give you information about it. And GoTech themselves is very happy to have other firmware put on their drives. So obviously I contested the copyright strike and the takedown of my video. It took about two days. But sure enough, YouTube did put my video back. And they never gave me an explanation as to why it was pulled down. They simply put the video back up. So I guess I should be happy about that. But today is really just a quick little update video, a little pickup video, some things that I've gotten. Um, I think I'm going to start with something I got here from my buddy from the Atari 5200 podcast. David is a good friend of mine up in Canada. He had sent me two things, actually. I had purchased, finally, a, uh, a trackball. I would have had one sooner, but David keeps outbidding me on those. Love you, David. But in any case, I had a trackball, and uh, David uh, actually bid and won a, a new in-box beautiful trackball. But for some reason, the Canadian Post decided to open and inspect the box, and they completely cut up the box. So David was kind enough to send me the box. As you can see here, it's in pretty good shape. And again, it is a big box, but that's okay. I didn't have a box before. And you can see in the back, there is some damage here. Uh, David did his best to try and fix it for me. But it was still very kind of him to ship me this at all. Um, I needed a box for it. So, David, thank you very much. This will look great over here up on my wall with my other Atari 5200 uh, items. But he also sent me something else. Another friend of mine, um, uh, Dwayne uh, Ringo. Uh, he ma makes a small Raspberry Pi arcade machines and some other things as well. One of them was he made a small wooden Atari 2600 that he put a Raspberry Pi in, and it looked really, really nice. And um, he actually bought two of them, my friend uh, David, once again, at the, on the 5200 podcast. And he sent me one of them. And these things are really, really neat. Um, this is actually made out of wood. Uh, if you can see it here, it looks like it's plastic. So Dwayne does a really nice job here. I don't know if he's still producing these or not at all, but uh, you just... Put a Raspberry Pi inside here. Uh, all the ports are here on the back. He even had a, a micro SD card uh, over here. It's kind of hard to do it backwards. A little micro SD card here as well. The uh, audio video jacks over here, HDMI out. Uh, so, and, and the decals and the artwork here is just really, really well done. Um, I'll do a video on this as well. This is just gonna be a quick overview of some things I, I had picked up. Uh, another thing that uh, actually came today um, from, uh, well, hold on a second here. Getting ahead of myself. So I managed to get myself a Super NES Classic to go with my other NES Classic I have. This was the GameStop Rapeview Edition. Yes, the Rapeview Edition. So I paid a little bit more for this. I went on the day, I actually got an email, like so many other people did, on the uh, pre-order day. And of course, it was instantly sold out online in every pre-order spot. Uh, a friend of mine uh, let me know on Facebook that if you went to the GameStop stores, they were still taking pre-orders for machines there. So, of course, I ran over to GameStop. And, of course, by the time I had gotten there, because I had already given up because I tried online everywhere, there was a line. And people are getting the $80 version, the $80 version, the $80 version, left and right. Of course, when I get there, magically, the $80 version is no longer available. But do not fret, GameStop persons, because, of course, GameStop will throw in a couple extras, of course, for more money to still get one of these. So, I got the SNS Classic. Uh, on the pre-order day, and then I got the, like I said, the, the Rapeview Edition, where I got this York wireless controller, 
No idea if this is good or not. I guess I'll try it out. I have no choice. I had to buy it anyway. And I got the Playing With Power uh, book, as you can see right here. I'm trying to get the reflections on it over there. Um, it's a $9 value. Well, let me tell you something. I paid a lot more than $9 <laughs> to get this sucker. But, you know, and like anything else, it's what our people are willing to pay. And at the time, we really didn't know if NES Classics would be more available, which it does seem that they are. It does seem like Nintendo learned a little bit by making more. It looks like their runtime will be longer. But again, on the pre-order day, no one really knew for sure. And as a matter of fact, the NES Classics are coming back out again as well. But at least I got one. It wasn't horribly more money, but again, great view edition. I've also completed one of my new builds, which was I took the uh, Frogger, uh, the Excalibur Frogger, not the Coleco Frogger, and converted that into a Raspberry Pi as well. So this is it right here. Um, you can see it's got a different joystick on it. Um, this one, when I got it off eBay, was not working. It didn't have a joystick at all. But I wanted to keep it. I try and keep mine looking as stock as I can because I'm not very good at the artwork. At least not yet. I'm hoping I will be and I can do more to mine. But look for a build video on this as well soon. Um, I already made uh, a Stewie pinball into my Crazy Climber Missile Command machine. And I have a video. I'll put a link down below to that one. But that one was, again, a Stewie pinball machine. Uh, didn't have the artwork on it anyway, so it looks very plain. This one had the Frogger artwork on it, and the artwork is still pretty oops, still pretty good, as you can see here. And this has a 3.5-inch uh, uh, HDMI display, a uh, lithium battery. This one I put a Raspberry Pi Zero in it because, honestly, this is going to be playing the old games, nothing too fancy. It's only got the one joystick and, and the four buttons right now. I am thinking maybe I'm going to add more buttons to it, but do look for a build video on this one soon if you have one and want to convert it to Raspberry Pi. So also, uh, lastly, I want to talk about my friend over at Old Made New, Neil Henry. He builds uh, Raspberry Pi uh, mini caves out of the old Coleco video games. And I already purchased an Asteroids from him, and I love that one already. Um, but when we were talking, before I bought the Asteroids one, I was talking to him about another one that he hadn't made yet. So I didn't want to buy one. I guess I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, even though the Asteroids, again, was one he never made before. But at least I knew how the artwork was going to look on that one. So we just went back and forth for a while. I drove him a little bit crazy. And then he eventually made it for somebody else, and I fell in love with it. So I had to get one myself. And we'll do a video uh, on this also. But I got a Neil Henry Crazy Climber Coleco Minicade. And this thing is fantastic. Um, the artwork is great. As you can see here, it's got a Raspberry Pi 3 in there a 4.3 inch HDMI display, uh, a lithium ion uh, battery. It's got the two joysticks here, which works great for Crazy Climber, obviously, but also Robotron plays fantastic on this. So look for a video on this one as well. So again, it was just gonna be a quick little video of some things I had picked up recently. Um, all of these will have their own separate videos coming soon. So everyone, thanks for watching in this episode of Glenn's Retro Show. Uh, I'm gonna take some aspirin for the YouTube headaches I've had as of late. And, uh, Look for more upcoming episodes. Thank you for subscribing if you're already subscribed. If not, please consider doing so. Uh, if you like this video, please do so and tell your friends. Uh, I chat with everyone down below, so do leave comments. Thanks for taking the time out of the day to watch this video. And remember, game on.
Sit, Blue Blue, sit. Good dog. Run, coward. Run, run, run. <laughs>